Hi everyone, I'm Felix from Shop3D and welcome back to a 3D printing metal series. In today's video, we're gonna go over the 3D printing metal workflow step by step. We're gonna take you from the initial idea all the way to the finished metal part. So let's get slicing. Before we get into the details, let's recap the life cycle of your parts. Once you 3D print your part, it's called a green part. This part is not metal yet and needs to be sent out to a lab to be debound and sintered. Once you get your parts back, those parts are 100% stainless steel. So let's start in the beginning. Before you go ahead and buy your metal filament, we gotta make sure that your printer can actually print with it. You gotta make sure that your nozzle can reach at least 250 Celsius, your print bed at least 100, and you gotta make sure to have an abrasive nozzle, like a ruby nozzle or a hardened steel one. Once you got all that set up, we're ready to start slicing. Before you start printing, we gotta make sure to scale up your models, because as you can see right here, the parts lose quite a bit of volume when they go through the debinding and sintering process. So what you wanna go ahead and do is scale up your parts by 20% in the X and Y direction and 26% in the Z. Once that's done, you're ready to start printing. Note that there are a few best practices that you need to follow when designing your parts. Keep your parts under 100 millimeters on each side, keep the height to width ratio about three to one, and keep all of the wall thicknesses above one millimeter. For the full list of best practices, check out the link below. If you have an Ultimaker or a BCN 3D printer, you might already have the 3D printing profiles for these stainless steel filaments. But if you don't, don't worry. Follow these parameters right here to get you in the ballpark and fine tune from there. I found that this material prints a lot like ABS, so draw from your experiences there. Load in the filament, put some Dima Fix or Magical 316L on the print bed, and hit print. It's as simple as that. Once your green 3D printed parts are ready, make sure to package them well because they're very fragile. You'll then send it over to the lab, and in about two to four weeks time, you'll get back a fully sintered metal 3D printed part. Let's talk about what happens in the lab. Once they receive your green part, they'll take it to a catalytic debinding machine, which will remove all of the binding polymers that are holding the powder together. They'll take this brown part and put it in a sintering oven that will then compress and heat all the particles and fuse them together, resulting in a fully sintered metal part. And there you have it. You now know how to take an idea and turn it all the way to a metal sintered 3D printed part. What do you gotta make first? Tell us down in the comments below, and if you have any questions, definitely let us know as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until next time, I'm Felix.